Many hellos, you're tuned in to the Rewind Guys podcast, the show where we watch, discuss, and rate old movies, new movies, movies that define our childhood and others we've never seen or even heard of before. This week, we're discussing the true hero of our galaxy. And no, I'm not talking Luke Skywalker or Peter Quill or even Captain Kirk. No, we're talking about Shep Ramsey. So put your feet up, take a load off, and don't forget the popcorn. Because we're talking Suburban Commando. Quite a good scene, isn't it? One man crazy, three very sane spectators. Welcome back to the Rewind Guys podcast. I'm your host, Patrick Andrews. This week, we're discussing the movie Suburban Commando. This was an action sci-fi comedy filmed here in the U.S., released in 1991. This movie has a runtime of 1 hour and 30 minutes and a rating of PG. It had an $11 million budget and made either $6.9 million in the box office or $8. i am getting both numbers online, but either way, oh, it's flop. <laughs> yeah, it's not much of a success. This movie stars Hulk Hogan as Shep Ramsey. I'm here to rent the apartment. Christopher <laughs> Lloyd as Charlie Wilcox. Honey, it's for you. Shelley Duvall as Jenny Wilcox. Hi. And was directed by Burt Kennedy. Let me bring in the rest of the Rewind guys so we can find out just who picked this masterfully produced piece of cinema. We have Mike Andrus. What's up? Russell Andrews. Welcome to Walmart. And Isaiah Page. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, I, I just who who picked this movie? That was me from our love of Hulk Hogan. Oh, I oh I knew it. I knew it. No, you didn't, Eli. I picked this movie. And welcome to my childhood, bitches. Okay, and I have you to say, open this freaking video with that horrible, horrible description for this movie. <laughs> Granted, the movie's good, but still, that no. masterfully, masterfully <laughs> no. written, masterfully directed, masterfully acted. I, I, I should have looked up how many awards <laughs> this won. And the reason why I think it didn't make as much in the box office is because this movie really was, was trash. It was ahead of <laughs> <laughs> no. Like that. I was going to say ahead of its time. But sure, everybody is entitled to their own opinion. Okay, fine, whatever. Uh oh, <laughs> look at oh, man. Look at your Russell like you're holding back. I'm, just, I'm, so waiting. I'm he's, waiting. to get he's started. Got, his guns are locked and loaded. <laughs> the notes okay. are out. He looks so eager. <laughs> okay, We're so ready to go. This movie is from my childhood, and I'll be honest with you. Like I've never forgotten this movie. How can you? Like, but here's so no, good. I don't think he, I will either. No, <laughs> Here's the no, thing, though, like, God, like no. nothing of the movie, as I rewatched it, because I haven't seen this probably since preteen, um, nothing about this movie was memorable with the exception of one quote that I think I've used my entire life, and I'll tell you guys when we get there. But, like, yeah, I don't remember anything else in this movie. Am I the only one who's seen this movie before? Uh, I've seen part I've of seen one scene before <laughs> this. I've heard of it. Okay. In Legend. <laughs> yes. I heard of it in Legend, but now I got forced to watch it and I am so upset. <laughs> yeah. No, no. You should be you should be thankful that this this lost piece of cinema that's been glossed over for years is finally resurfacing. Okay, I'm trying to spread the word. This movie needs a resurgence, it needs a reboot, and it has a trilogy. to trilogy. Bring... Yeah, it needs a trilogy. <laughs> you're trying, okay. You're this trying movie... to make children wonder what is wrong with you. <laughs> yeah, no, no, this movie. Okay, I'm saying. And they even gotta bring back Hulk Hogan. He has to play the same part. <laughs> no, he's um, like super I think old. He's too old and flabby for that. You know, there there's makeup, I there's CG. They'll, they'll make it work. They have to give him they have to give him a muscle suit because he's fat. <laughs> <laughs> they can just borrow the one from Guardians. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yours will be my fourth conquered world. Don't count on it, Suter. But I already have. Some wine. I do wish you'd face facts and tell your people to surrender. No, I will not ask my people to give up everything they know to serve a sadistic, egotistical, homicidal maniac. I don't think of myself as egotistical. Proud, maybe, but... General Suter! General Suter! Intruder! Level 5! Ramsey. Oh. 
So our story begins in space. There's explosions. There's a war going on. And we meet for the first time Shep Ramsey. The badass of space. I mean, okay. the, the skull at that point. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Wait a minute. I feel like we missed a whole lot. No, we didn't meet him right off the bat. <laughs> it opens Wasn't it up open with negotiations? Spa- yeah. It was space battles, big ship, little ships attacking big ship. Little ships get obliterated. I said and there th- was a war. You there said was there battle. was a war. There, were, there was there, battle. Yes. But so, then it goes into the ship, and you see big bad guy talking to president of yada yada planet, and they're under negotiations for the president to surrender his people. Right. You skipped all that. But yeah, okay. But, but the storyline go- doesn't need to be mentioned because it sucked. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, all right, granted, I'm glossing over. But you There's said a war. we opened up with okay. Shep. We didn't open oh, up with Oh, we Shep. practically... We opened up to a war and Shep Ramsey. And that's all you need to know. There's negotiations going on, but they're... Man, these are one-sided. This president is there against his will, okay? He's like, you know, and if he doesn't meet the terms and conditions of this guy, he's gonna die. But Shep's there, and obviously he's a badass, because when... Because look at his mustache. Well, yeah, of course, his mustache and mullet. The you know mustache. he's hardcore. <laughs> the handlebar <laughs> mustache and the balding. So he's... <laughs> that say, not just the mullet, handlebar. but bald on top. Oh, mullet. yeah, it's like, like a skullet. Like, he's, a, yeah. <laughs> he, he's been balding from an early age. So, yeah, so... And and when the this suitor guy... I hate his name. I'm sorry. I do. I hate the name suitor. So when he realizes somebody is on the ship and attacking people, he instantly knows it's Shep Ramsey. Because he's Shep Ramsey. Because it's Hulk Hogan. Yes. Okay. So, you know, nothing's <laughs> going to stop this guy except for when he makes it to like, I'm assuming like the bridge of the ship when he's taken down, like two juggalos lay his ass out. By the way, they all had the Everybody same fucking ponytail. Everybody had a freaking great. platinum blonde ponytail. No. Every single enemy soldier had a like foot and a half long blonde ponytail. I Was, did not Wasn't that just that. everybody in the 90s? Probably. Oh. <laughs> huh. No, I did not see the ponytails. <laughs> I, I'm not seeing the Where were my eyes? <laughs> Um, um, on Hogan's crotch, where mine were. Oh, with, with like the little like LED light. light oh my god! Yeah, I can't wait to get into <laughs> uh, that yeah, later. Yeah, I know, there was I know. Specific scene. Oh my god. Oh man. All right, yeah. So that anyway, so part. so he makes it to the <laughs> yes. bridge and he's there I, to take this suitor guy down. But I can't remember. Something happens and he doesn't quite get that far. But instead, this president guy who's in these negotiations like gambits. Yeah, so, he just pulls out a, a fucking metal square, like a big metal square, and just <laughs> yeah. eats it across. Across the room and cuts Suter's hand off. Yeah, and this like I, I do. Kind of, I mean, it's a simple effect because they don't show anything under it. But I do yeah. like that with a, like the slimy, like weird creature. Well, yeah, I wasn't. Suter starts going full of lossal pasture. Just- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! Like we have to reference every one of our past movies yeah. and the newest. I can't one. help it; they're all becoming one movie. Like it is so true. They slowly are. It's gonna be difficult when we get to episode like 100 and we have to comment on every other movie we ever oh, saw. And it's just gonna be mess. <laughs> but yeah. Hurt. I'll try. So, so he does. He, he takes out this guy's hand. This alien hand comes out and like shit's hitting the fan. So Ramsey, he he just dives down this like air duct and like his aerosol he, boots engage. And yeah, he, just, grenades everywhere. he just sees They're this bombs. dude start transforming and he just nopes the hell out of him. Oh, yeah. 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 That, well, fuck so he, he's flying through the vents and he's leaving his like a trail of sticky grenades and he hops into an escape oh. pod. He is out of there. Huge explosion. You think he's dead, but he's not. <laughs> he comes he out of the explosion, and he is alive, and he saved the day. Had he kind died, of. the movie would have been better. No, already this movie, <laughs> this movie hits you with excitement right off the bat. Yeah. It is so good. The tension is high. You think he's dead for crying out loud, and I Russell. love all of his weird little one-liners. His acting. That are just kind of <laughs> Oh, like, yeah, like the elevator <laughs> scene. He literally... Walks up to the guys that are like, going up. He gets in the elevator, looks at him going down. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like yes, hell? sir, I am. Yeah, yeah. He's going up, smash. Ah, so um, so he gets in a ship, and yeah. now I guess like his superior is going to get in contact with him on the video phone, and he's like, "Hey, man, Galaxy's in pretty good shape. We don't need you right now. Go take you know take some time off. Take a take a load I didn't off. Take it that way. It's like, hey, you let the president die. You're fired." Really? Like, it seemed like it's like, hey, you, you've been doing a really shitty job lately. We need you to uh, quit. <laughs> that's what it seemed like. <laughs> okay. The, uh, I did get one vibe from that, and that's because, like, he didn't mention something about some other guy. And he's like, well, no, he, he said the old chef wouldn't have let the president die. Man, I completely missed that. That's why I was like, oh, his ass is getting fired. Huh. Permanent vacation. Okay. So he tells him, take a load off, take it easy, take some time to yourself, recuperate. 
at this point, he tells him to kind of, what is it? Uh, he's too stressed. And he freaks out and kind of gets all like agitated and smashes his controls. And apparently, by breaking his controls, he loses all the power to a ship. Something like that. Yeah. And now he's got to go to the nearest planet and uh, and let his ship... <laughs> Earthling. <laughs> yeah. He has to let his ship... Uh, it has to recharge, and it's going to take... Was it six weeks? Yeah, yeah, six weeks. Which I'm glad everybody has the same measurement of time. That made well, it way easier. Was it? Because didn't he say a different time when he was on Earth, though? Later on. Uh, point, or I was think it he again? said 21 days or something like yeah. that. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Mm. I like when he's in space in that like escape pod and it's like broken and he's like, come on, stabilize me. <laughs> stabilize me, brother. And he's like poking the one button over and over again. <laughs> I'm doing science. <laughs> Earth just happens to be the closest planet, and apparently he's been there before, I'm assuming, because he hates Earthlings, and it's not like it takes time for him to get like acclimated or whatever. He 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 fits in perfectly. You know, uh he's good. But he he crashes his he crashes his ship into like this old abandoned roller disco, I think. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, uh, yeah something, something like that. Yeah. Oh. yeah. And I like how this place still has power to it because he turns it on for a second, the music starts, and he shuts it off. And I don't think oh, he, he says, shut it off. He ripped the wires out of the wall. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and I just like I just remember he's like he says the same thing. It was like Earthlings or whatever. And uh, and he goes out for a walk. Yeah, it's walking down the street, and everybody's just kind of like, "What the hell is wrong with you?" I feel like if anyone were to walk down the street with that today, no one would care. I mean, people might glance and be like, that's kind of <laughs> yeah, weird, but true. no one would care. This next it part. Like you're cosplaying. This next part. <laughs> that's true. Uh, I'm going to cosplay as Hulk Hogan. <laughs> you totally should, man. Oh, God. You can pull it off. I want it so bad. <laughs> you got this little you tiny have to, Hulk. You have to you, you, go for the skull. You, you, you would be like a mini uh, me Hulk Hogan. <laughs> You have to go for the skullet. Oh, my God. Yes. But, yeah, so he's, he's walking down the road, and uh, I, this part right here, this part right here cracks me up the most because he sees a dog in a truck, which, okay, whatever. And the dog's muzzled up, and he's looking at the sun, and obviously it's really hot. This dog shouldn't be in there. And then this other guy with a mullet <laughs> like, <laughs> shut mullet. up, Ralph, or whatever the dog's name was. And, and now, you know, Hogan, he's kind of pissed. And so now it's like a battle of the mullets, which you don't really get to see because it's just like a swipe yeah. to the next scene. Yeah, which is really disappointing. Yeah, well, in the okay, whole movie, he locked but every fight scene. No, so so there are so many questions I have for the scene because now this guy is in his truck, in his underwear, tied up with the muzzle, and Hogan now has you know Shep Ramsey has his clothes on. Not Where did all this happen? Seeing him, seeing the one guy. In the car with like the muzzle and stuff, like I just had this weird puppy play fantasy. Oh, oh God, no, oh. which was really working for me. <gasps> this movie, I think, started it all. <laughs> oh, See, God. this movie is a trailblazer. It, it started so many trends. The only That's way... a bad trend. I mean, <laughs> depending. Don't knock it until you to try. It. Crashed and burned. I will kink shame. Huh? You. That's a weird way to say it. Crashed and burned. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, I will kink shame you. So he finds he finds. A flyer that only says apartment for rent with an arrow. <laughs> and I love how he's holding it and walking around <laughs> looking at it like it's a map. I'm, like he's still looking at the arrow, even though now the arrow is pointing in a different direction. Oh, he I gotta go this it. way now, yeah. And then he turns a little bit. Oh, arrow points this way. He's well, going a fucking circle. Like, I think it would have been funny. I think it would have been funny if he had shown up to the door and had like a whole handful of them. Like he's been taking them up as he's, found, you know, finding the oh, other yeah. ones to so the arrow. That would have been funnier, but yeah. like the way he was doing it, like, wow, dude. Yeah. Here's the thing. I have to give myself a little credit for discovering your talent, which is why I'd like to show you something a little special right now. Beautiful, aren't they? Not a single internal blemish in any of them. Do you know why? I'll tell you why. Pure simian crystal. These awards are my proudest possessions. I really believe someday between your talent, maybe a little help from me, you're going to find your own name on one of those. And believe me, that'll be worth more than all the money in China. Tea. What? Tea in China. You're a detail man, Charlie. That's why I like you. And by the way, that's why my door is always open to you. Of course, I suppose that we've both got our work to do, so if there's nothing else right now... No, sir. Splendid. Oh, look who's here. Welcome. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Just so during all this opening, we, we also meet Charlie and Jenny Wilcox, and he's he's got to get ready for work. Uh, she's... I don't know what she's doing. But he about the bills, and she told him that he needs to ask for that raise. Well, it's not that easy, because this and that. And she pretty much grabbed him in a chokehold and said, Say it. <laughs> like, I will ask for the raise. Yes, yes. He's Charlie is just, he's kind of a pushover. He's a super nice guy. And I have to say, I never thought, but man, okay, seeing this movie again, 
Shelly Duvall and, and and Christopher uh Christopher Lloyd, they're a power couple. They they, are. they make the perfect like husband and wife couple, like hundred <laughs> no, percent. She's um, not bad looking though. She's no, at was, least back then. I don't yeah, know now. Yeah. I don't know what she looks like now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that scene where she's trying to like seduce him. I oh like, yeah. Right. I would have never thought of her as a sex symbol until this movie. You know, kids back then. I'm just saying. <laughs> you don't know <laughs> what you're missing. Yeah. So okay, so Charlie gets to work and and he can't. He tries to ask for the raise, but his stupid boss is Adrian, uh, whatever his name is. Dude, I thought his boss was like a hilarious character. This, I was gonna say the boss was probably one of my favorite characters. Oh, man, yeah. um, it's uh Larry Miller. I think is the the is the actor, but I can't think of. I know it's Adrian. It's Adrian sound like blocks or something like I that. I can't remember any of the names from any. Of the <laughs> well, but no, it's, it's he he's fast talking and he is funny. But man, oh, drives me nuts. Guy drives me nuts. But he played his character well. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so so Charlie tries to ask for the raise. But this guy, he talks around. He's fast talking about all the stuff he needs to do and get on these blueprints and yada yada yada. We got to meet with these people. And before you know it, he just kind of pushes Charlie right out the door. I think what well, didn't those new people show up? Those the the, age, the Chinese people. Oh, we had, well, we had to talk about how he showed him his magical crystals. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yes, yes, that's yes, important. Yes, Simian yes, crystles. Yes, it was really. What sim- were the point of those? The crystals? I mean, like they were just his awards. Oh, okay, like, his okay. accolades. Was, that's what I thought. But I was like, yeah, yeah just, just all the stuff that he won. That I, I, I'm, I'm assuming this guy's as successful as he is. We get the impression pretty much from Charlie. Charlie's like the backbone of this whole thing. Yeah. And so yeah, we do see the crystals, and as Charlie's leaving, these 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 I think they were Japanese yeah, people yeah, show yeah, up I think so. because they want they want this company to design their uh their new building or or something. But that's kind of all we get from that. So Charlie, he's upset. He goes back home. Um, his his neighbor who apparently has like a lot of money right. because he has his his driveway. He's got like a race car. The street he's got race cars. He's got it's drag like, not, racers. I was gonna say not just race cars, but like drag oh, yeah. cars. He's like, got like an on. arsenal. Of racers, Charlie, he can't get in his driveway, and so he's, you know, neighbors are like, "Park on the street," even though it's like, you know, "Park across the street." Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, Charlie's you know. driveway, but like, uh, whatever. This guy's obviously a dickhead. Charlie, being the guy he is, he parks on the road, and man, okay, first while he's parked there, he's getting stuff out of the car, and we got like these these, I guess, teenagers. They're they're they're. <laughs> Some thirty-year-old teenagers, they're they're That's zooming like around in like their their Firebird, and they almost take the car his car door off and his leg, by the way. And this is where we meet his neighbor. I love his neighbor, the Colonel. This yeah, guy oh, yeah. is awesome. He's a pretty cool character. I have he's to say. cool. Like I like how he's just oh, like. This is the only character you like? Oh well, yeah, because he's just being a dick to everybody else. <laughs> yeah, and he just he just sits in this, this old like beat up like run down like. Beat up, dude. I mean, military like Jeep. Like, like, yeah, I think it's like dumb War, like World War II Jeep. Yeah, yeah. and he just anyway. sits there. He's in his it's fatigues. Like, he's like always he's drinking. Dump. He just like people watches <laughs> and makes his own like snarky little comments and stuff. This guy is awesome. I would love to have a neighbor like this guy, or even yeah. be that guy. That'd be great. So, so I like when he's walking to his his house, and and the colonel's like, "You should have let him hit the door. Let him taste steel for a change, those little bastards." And I'm like, "I like this guy. This guy's cool." Yeah. I can't believe you rented out to that guy. He's enormous. And he's probably dangerous. Oh, Charlie. I'm serious. You know what? It comes right down to it. I probably couldn't protect you against a guy like that. Ooh. <laughs> so funny. Oh, wait. <gasps> These yours? Take your hands off my children. That was cool. Yeah, can we do it again? Okay. Fine. Everybody, dinner. His his wife is trying to seduce him, make him feel better. He know uh, she knows that he, he's had a kind of a rough day, but he's not having. It. He's not into it. He just got to go to a shed and hit some stuff. Got to hit some stuff. So, but he goes out there, and his shed has been transformed in okay in like an afternoon. In an afternoon, a shed has been transformed into a fully rentable apartment and i like his drill press i want to know what it looked like before the they showed thing, it in the beginning you didn't see much of it though no yeah you've seen enough you've seen the pretty much the doorway yeah you see you see a little bit that it. it's not yeah, it's just it's just, it's probably better than any shed or, or anything i've ever had but i mean it's just just a shed he's got his tools all over the place a drill press and whatnot which at this point now it's all painted and he's, they got like a fern on the drill press <laughs> but, i mean uh, you know she that. did great work Oh, she She's did. Quite the handy woman. Hex, yeah. In one day. But yeah, she did all this, of course, to kind of help pay for bills. If they can rent this out, then their bill situation can be, you know, yeah, can because be like she knew that he wasn't going to get that raise. 
Like oh, she was you, already banking on that. Oh, yeah. Well, she knows her husband at this point. I mean, they got kids. They've been together a while. She's like, okay. well, my husband's kind of That a way you can play it safe like so. you want to do. <laughs> yeah. And, and yeah, so, so she knew, you know, she knows Charlie. And that's, I think that's essentially the whole, like, what? Three quarters of this movie, if not more, is, is really just learning about Charlie. He just, he can't do things. Yeah. And how Hulk Hogan oh. turns him into a real man. Oh, yes. Hulk Hogan can turn anybody so into a real man. <laughs> Not at all. No, okay, first of all, the Hulk Hulk doesn't turn him into a man. Hulk doesn't. No, he just shows it, him the it way. Was, it he was just a, leads him. It was a turning point. Hulk never even led way? him. He never even led him, Oh, man. he did. He did not. We'll get to it. Damn it. <laughs> so, yeah, so, uh, okay. And I like, You're not giving this any credit. <laughs> no. So, I do like, he's there. Now, he's, he's man, his day could not get any worse. Charlie goes inside. He just wants a glass of milk. All right, let him he like relax. really like he like ran into the house. He, oh, for he's, this he's, milk. dude, this like, guy, he is, he's just like on fire. And what I like too is he like he started to pour a few times and he kept like not getting anything. <laughs> like, no, finally, no, he's no, like no. and really goes for it. <laughs> yes, and gets like the tiniest amount in his glass, and he's like, Good there enough. must have been no milk left. <laughs> Maybe so. Yeah, so then the the door the doorbell goes off. And it's one of those obnoxious buzzers that goes as long as you hold it, and it just goes. And man, it's just he's just. Flaming, this guy's pissed. He goes and opens the door. He's like, "What?" He just like stops dead <laughs> in his tracks, and he's like, "That's when Hogan's like, I'm here for the apartment." And I like, he's just like, he has a crumple up in his hand. Like, oh. Honey, it's for you. And like, I love that part. <laughs> like, he's that big of a, another strong man for you. <laughs> yeah, you're always ordering them. He's just that big of a of, of, a, of, of a, a coward. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's that big of a coward that like he's just like nope, not gonna touch this. Uh, this but is she all wants you. To touch oh yeah, oh, yes. <laughs> everybody in this movie wants to touch Hulk Hogan. Everybody okay. watching Who that movie, as far as I know. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Shep gets the apartment. Okay, and I like when he's discussing this with with uh, with Jenny in the kitchen as they're preparing dinner, and he's like, "I can't believe you rented this to that 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 giant or whatever he said." He's like, "You know, if it comes down to it, I don't think I could protect you." And, and I like how even after he says that, she like kind of chuckles. Pretty yeah, much. so she doesn't think he could protect her from anyone. Oh like, yeah, at all. Anyone. One of my favorite scenes is coming up. Okay, okay, so so yeah, they sit down, they enjoy dinner. No, 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 we skipped it. They're like setting the table. And, <laughs> and he walks Hulk, Hulk comes in and he just goes, These yours? And he's holding up both the kids by the back of their shirts. Like, Which is like, like, like these yours? <laughs> obviously a cheap effect. You can see he's not holding these kids. Oh, he's dude, this Come is on. Hulk Hogan. He's totally holding those kids. No. No, he's not. Yes, he is. He's fake. Oh, don't, don't ruin this for hoax. me. Oh. Hoax Hogan. And like, why is he having dinner with them? I thought that was really weird too. It's like you're running an apartment to him. I run an apartment? Uh, yeah. yeah. I think it's just like I think they're I mean, they're just nice people. Come There's also no kitchen or anything like that. No fridge even in his apartment. So I guess it's just. Oh, yeah. And that <laughs> that's, could, maybe that's, that's part of the deal. Yeah. yeah. So he's we in there. We will feed you. Oh, man. They're going to lose money on this, man. Because he is like going to eat them out of house and home. So I think is it. This is the first night, isn't it? Where where Charlie decides, even though he's scared of this guy and a very timid person, he's going to spy on him. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> as you know, Shep's in, in, in this apartment shed. Um, up pops Charlie from the bushes and he's spying on, he's spying on Shep and, uh, he sees him <laughs> unpacking like all these like weapony looking guns and stuff and hiding it under the mattress. Then Shep takes off. He's gotta go for a walk. Um, I don't think we follow him this time. No. No. Okay. But he, he takes off. And so now Charlie's gonna go in there and investigate and he brings the guns out. He turns it on and he fires one. And this thing, it's, it's powerful. It, uh, it travels through. His Shades, lamp, yeah, his the lamp, wall, the wall into the car across the street. Yep, but what into I think his is weird car. is okay. So you're gonna sneak in this guy's apartment, check out his guns and stuff, and then you're just gonna shoot the gun. Yeah, I was wondering in the that middle too, of like, like the city. Well, I think was gun doing? safety not a thing in the '90s. Like, who just picks up I'm, a gun and pulls the trigger? So. Yeah, but I think he didn't believe it to be a real gun. Just That's like, one hell of a test. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, I, if you looked at it compared to most weapons, there's no barrel, there's no nothing. It it look, it look looks like a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, if I look at that, it's like, 
<laughs> it, oh and it's supposed God. to be a children's movie, so teaching kids, if you're not sure if it's dangerous, point at your friend and pull just, the trigger. Just start <laughs> shooting it and see what happens. Oh, for a, for a kids movie, they do they do a couple things that are that are kind of like odd and suggestive. Also, I love how everybody in this movie is just pulling guns on people. Yeah, it's so I, like, true. It's like, so I, true. I know we're not uh, at those points yet, but like, what the heck? Like, yeah. But I love how that like, secretary just got a piece of carry, and she is. I know, ready man. To go. Like his neighbor, his dickhead neighbor who has all the cars. He blew up a car, but yet <laughs> nobody ever said anything. Yeah, the that next day it's like business up. as usual. I know. Oh, damn it, my car blew up yeah. again. When business he, as usual, no one cares. Yeah, no, no one, one cared, cared that, that the car blew up. Yeah, that a car blew up in front of the house. <laughs> like, I like that, oh, like Shep didn't even up. notice there's a hole in his wall. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of all yeah. the things I wanted to point out, I didn't even realize that one. Maybe he just like hung a picture. <laughs> he just hung a picture there real quick, you know. <laughs> turn Twisted. the turn the lamp yep, shade. Turn the lamp yeah, shade. you know Charlie's wife was using that like to peek in on him. You know, oh, he's yeah. changing his strongman clothes. <laughs> Probably. Charlie, I don't think he's on him. Did so he ever change his clothes? I don't think he did. When you look that good, you don't have to change your clothes. <laughs> exactly. Look at also look at how like, positive you're, you're getting. <laughs> so like, you probably should take a shower have, at least. Does he just have money in his ship? What or was he just never planning on paying rent? Uh, he just never got to that point, you know. We never get. I guess they, he's got like future or technologies, printing all kinds of money. In yes, there. that's probably true. But man, I I have to say I'm loving this already because I feel like oh maybe he just paid off the wife with sexual favors. Oh, oh, that, that, <laughs> that could be. But see, look, I, I'm going to convert you into a lover of this movie because I can already see it. You got you got that that glint in your eye. I can see that spark. If Hulk Hogan had been represented as some kind of like leather daddy, <laughs> I would have been on board. Morning. Good morning. Listen, Mr. Ramsey. Shep. Okay. Fine, Shep. Listen, Shep, the thing is I'm gonna have to Come on, ask. Dad! Trace is already in the car. Christ. I'll catch you later. Shep. Come on, Dad. I'm coming. We cut to the next day. Uh, Charlie's shaving. He's in, he's stressed out and even more now, and he's gonna deal with it. He's like, hey, the guy's got to go, and he's, he's gonna march outside, and Tommy's got to leave. But what did he even really do? Stammered and then walked away. Wait, well, Charlie or <laughs> no? But I mean, Hulk. like the whole, what did he do? He, he just, Charlie he just wants some gone because he's scared. Like Charlie, yeah, oh. I, I guess. Yeah, Charlie just like I can't yeah, have yeah, you around because I feel bitch. uncomfortable, you know. And he's worried for his family's safety. And he knows maybe if he nips it in the bud now, he can protect his family. But if shit hits the fan, Charlie's like, "Oh, we're screwed because I ain't gonna do nothing." So he goes out there, but and I actually thought this is the scene where like he could have done it. He was hell bent on telling him, and he started. He could have had the balls, but he, you know, <laughs> they never made it out of the house. He wasn't. He wasn't. Uh, he wasn't even too intimidated by because we see Shep and he's like, like working out with like the the tools from the shed, yeah, like <laughs> you know, like a drill press, yeah, in one hand and like I don't know, like a bandsaw on the yep. other. Just he wasn't even really like doing a bench press. He was just kind of shaking them in the air. I was a little confused <laughs> you know, by the whole what? scene. I want to see you hold those two pieces. Yeah, of I'll hold those two pieces of them foam in the air. up and shake them in the air. <laughs> no. I, he had to make them look like they were they were, they were like the real deal. Whoa, Perfect. So but, heavy. Well, yeah. So I'm confused with this because didn't his hey, son? Don't have video recording. Oh shit. <laughs> didn't his son come out and say something like, like a bunch of assholes? Like they had to like, go to school or something? Yeah, I think he said something about his. I don't remember the daughter's name, but she's in the car. Hurry up. Yeah. Okay. He's, he's I, getting I bossed around by his children. Being, I know. I think he lets things be an excuse so he doesn't actually have to deal with it. So when he's ready to deal <laughs> with it and he's really scared, all of a sudden it's just like, oh. I have to go on. You know what? Never mind. And walks away. Yeah, and that's probably true. He he splits and does, doesn't tell him to move out or whatever. And then you know he continues working out until he hears a scream. And he runs in the house, and it was Jenny, but she's just you know relieving some stress. That's what she was told to do from Whoa. her. He hears her. some screaming. She just oh, relieving yeah. some stress. Yeah, and and she's watching a TV show. Yeah, Hell yeah. And it's you know it's it's how to relieve some stress. It's legit. Okay, don't don't take this out of context. So anyway. Okay, we get some rapid fire scenes here, and I hope I can remember these all because I kind of feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna forget something. But that's why you're supposed to be the one to take notes, so we can just you I know, have so many fire notes. off of you. No, I have so many notes. I, it's just a mess. So anyway, okay, oh, so you got the ball here. this is I am <laughs> flying blind on this. Okay, all right. So the mailman comes to deliver the mail. Well, well wait. you already screwed up. What? <laughs> yeah, okay. What I miss? He like. Picks her up and slams her down behind the couch to like take cover, and that's when she. Oh, yeah, told details, him that was details. He already hey. went in to save her, and it was a TV show. But yes, you're right. 
He picks her up. And here's the thing, though. I have to say, this this scene especially does. I'm glad we're back on this, though. <laughs> <laughs> you give him a hard time <laughs> yeah, and then man. thank him. <laughs> Oh, you know, hey, happy accident. Hey, don't accidents. bring up details, but about those details. <laughs> happy accident. Uh, this movie does kind of show you, like, Hulk, you know what? Say what you want, Russell. He wasn't that bad. But the problem well, is... Well, you couldn't see the wires to lift her up? He couldn't do <laughs> no. shit. No. Here's the thing. I the, the, feel the, like every time you say he's not that bad, Russell's eyes roll to the back of his head. Like, what the <laughs> fuck are you saying? He loses, like, a year of his life. Uh, but, <laughs> it's like, no. stop it. I'll point off his rating. He's going to become the Hulk here now. <laughs> but here's the problem. Okay, here's the thing. Like, I feel like... Uh, first of all, I don't think they necessarily cared when they were making this movie. It's supposed to be a comedy anyway. But... They could have edited it, it better. I think by having the Hulk in the movie, you can tell that they don't care about the movie. Having uh, who in the movie? <laughs> that's messed up. But the thing is true. He's such, he's such a big dude that like when he's trying to maneuver and be quick, he's he just looks sluggish. So slow. Yeah, when he was yeah, running into the house. Everything about the movie is so you slow. You could have cast Lou Frigno and it like, would have been better. <laughs> slow and dumb and like he couldn't save anybody from anything I, but i feel like by the time he got man, there and his muscles got in the way i think they could have put it together better <laughs> to kind of correct that a little bit then the mailman's coming to deliver mail and he's like oh shit danger he, he grabs <laughs> and first of all i don't know what mailman also, is sticking their also, hand in that far <laughs> clearly not a mailman it's some kind of alien thief i don't know oh, yeah, yeah, but, but, maybe, but oh, also yeah, Maybe this, he delivers handies. This dude <laughs> apparently is familiar with humans. Yeah. He's been here before, yet he flips his shit every time a person like yes. crosses his well, path. Maybe exactly. The, one, the, the time he'd been there was a lot earlier. So <laughs> yes, before. He's not used to how they act now. Yeah, I get, what, is he immortal? Did he come in the Middle <laughs> Ages? Like, know. I'm confused. <laughs> maybe, I don't know. I he's don't an know. alien. That's all I know. I guess it's possible, but he grabs the mailman's hand and almost takes it off, and Jenny stops it before, obviously, he does anything stupid. Mailman flips out and leaves, and I hate this part right here. Because <laughs> kid. right after the mail comes the paper. <laughs> And I would now, love to do this. I wish this was still a thing. <laughs> Shep gets hit by the paper, <laughs> and he's super annoyed. And he's gonna he's gonna throw the paper back at the kid, but Jenny stops him. But the moment she walks away, he's like, "Screw this! I'm gonna get that kid." That kid, he has a fucking arm on him. But this is stupid. First of all, time has passed. The kid should be farther down the road. Well, I think that's what he's. I think that's what they're trying to trying to show is like, yeah, the kid's like a block away, but he's just so strong that he can oh. whip that paper half a mile oh. down the road and hit that kid. That little smart ass. Maybe. Little smart ass, brother. You just brought this movie up a point for me because I was going to take it down for this. It's still <laughs> weird how, like... He throws it to the front of the house and the kid should have been to the like, yeah. right or something. Yeah, go, Russell. You're increasing his score. <laughs> yeah. No, the, the direction was still off. As his goes up, yours yes. goes down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh my God. I think this is the scene. I love this scene. After that, I think comes the kids bop version of a street gang okay <laughs> these guys these guys stroll up on their skateboards and the one kid goes head first into hogan's dong and i mean <laughs> i'm like well that's an awkward scene to film can't yeah, film scenes like that nowadays <laughs> once he peels the kid off his crotch like a like a <laughs> Whoa. All right, you didn't hit hard enough. Take 15. Let's go again. <laughs> okay. So, um, and I, I don't, but this is, this is, I'm a little confused right here, though, because I thought the kids were in school. Uh, not the badass ones. Yeah, you ah. said they're the kids' bop gang. They don't go <laughs> yeah, to school. I guess, I guess they're that hard, you know. <laughs> so, <they're, laughs> like Hogan during that scene. Hey, Goldilocks! You got any idea what these cards are worth? 30,000 bucks. You got any idea what we're going to do to you if we find one itty-bitty scratch on him? Any idea? Let me guess. You're going to pound my face, break every bone in my body. Then you're going to drag me across the gravel road and feed my remains to a warthog. Is that about right? What are you, nuts? This is the 90s. We're going to sue you. We're going to get you for willful destruction of property. Yeah. Mental anguish. That's giving it to him. Loss of work hours. We get through with you, you ain't going to have a dime left of your name. You'll be hearing from our attorney. What kind of world is this? This is where I think um, is one of the first traffic scenes with Charlie. And again, it's just like pretty much a testament to his character. He's got this little tiny, what, Ford Festiva or something. And this damn traffic light Pinto always <laughs> catches him. And he just he can't go through the yellow and most certainly can't go through a red. And he'll stop in the you, middle of an intersection. You can go through a yellow with 
open reason. We well, you know you can, but Charlie's Especially not going to. Especially with the flow of traffic. There's like 10 other people going through oh, it. Oh, yeah, that's the and thing. And he slams even, his brakes in front of him. Even when it's red, there are people still going. Yeah, and he's, I, I love how accurate, like, their portrayal of traffic is. Oh, yeah. Because it's like every red light in real life is like, oh, I can still make it before it turns red. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? Right? It is red. Yep. Yeah, this spot on, though, because he's, he's stopped on the yellow reversing to get back. And everybody, else, dude, there are cars so far yeah. back that are still going, but not Charlie. And I like how they're all revving at the one red light so that they can <laughs> Grandma go to race. through yeah. the other red light. Yep. Come on. I, okay, first of all, I'm not that bad, but there are some lights that I, I've been known to do that to. I know how they time out. So, you know, I kind of speed up and stuff. It's a dick move. It is a dick move. But I'm a dick. I'm a big old dick. <laughs> <laughs> big old swinging dick. Whoa. <laughs> and then after that, you know, Charlie's coming home again. And, you know, Shep, he's talking to the colonel. And this time, Charlie's not even going to ask the neighbor to move the car because he knows he's not going to. And he's like, oh, he is trying like hell to fit his car in between the two, like, like hot rods or, or, or whatever, drag racers. And he just can't do it. And I like Pain Shep. going to happen. I like Shep. He's just like, he's just like, that ain't right. He gets up. He goes and he lifts it up, you know, using his brute strength. And and he moves the car back, and I like Charlie's kind of warming up to to Shep at this point. He's like, you know what, this guy's not so bad. And so Charlie pulls into a spot. And now the rednecks next door, though, man. <laughs> oh, they are now angry. they're because you touched his car. Yeah, you know how much one of these are worth? They're worth thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, man, this guy, what is his job? <laughs> right, cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah I guess he is a car. Car. Maybe, yeah, he, he yeah. Is the car. Maybe those cars aren't his. Maybe he's working on. Maybe he's like some really famous mechanic or something. People want to go to him specifically. Oh, if he's making so much, get a garage that's not attached to your house. Yeah, no exactly. kidding. Seriously, they have some room to, to put all these cars. Yeah. So now this this guy, he's gonna go. He's gonna go get in Hogan's face. Okay, and he's like, you know what? We're gonna do if we find one scratch on that car. And then Shep's like, let me guess. <laughs> You're going to pound my face and break every bone in my body. Drag me across like gravel and feed me to the hogs or something. Uh, I think that, that's pretty close, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's actually really close. I, <laughs> I love this movie. And so, We're going to sue you. Yeah, I was like, no. This is the 90s. I'm going to sue you. Yeah, I'm sue I, you I for love mental that part. anguish. <laughs> and it's like, but then Hogan, he's like, what kind of planet is this? Yeah. And it's like, right? it's, it's true. It is I, I, true. I, I, I can yeah. agree with him on that one. It is true. I'd rather like solve certain things over beating someone. Yeah, what's what's beat your ass? What happened to a good old fashioned just punching someone? You know, yeah, just get it done. Not not like killing someone, not beating someone down. Just like just a good brawl, and you know, then yeah, everybody's hanging out. You this this all you know what I'm gonna do? Your ass is grass. Yeah, no, you're gonna turn it into a court case. It's gonna drag out for months, possibly years, and it's just like a quick punch. Come on, get it out and over with. You know, (laughs) this is where his son Mark almost gets run yeah, over by the by the 30 year old teenagers yeah see now you have it right yeah well now i'm trying to go off my notes a little bit it was it, oh, this, is a, this is a clusterfuck now the notes are important they get worse as <laughs> oh, it no. goes oh. it gets so bad i was up till four so anyway okay so this is but where it's better than me you have notes uh, i well, watched the movie last minute. i gotta make sure we, <laughs> i can go off you guys memory you guys all have pretty good memories my memory is shit and i gotta go from point a to point b somehow or another my memory is from like three hours ago <laughs> uh, man <laughs> Mine still wouldn't be that good. So this is where his son Mark almost gets hit by the 30-year-old teenagers zipping around in their their Firebird or Thunderbird, whatever the hell it is. And uh, But Shep, you know, he's quick. He's quick on his feet, man. Uh, He's so slow. (laughs) All right. But he's quick enough to save him from being run over by these guys. Okay. And here's the thing. Hold up. Hold up. Real quick. I find this scene funny because this scene happened more than once. With just the car zipping around. When you watch that car zip around, did it not look like one of those cars that are on those freaking metal tracks that just go... Whee! Oh, like a slot car? Yeah. They, they, see, <laughs> just, see, look at... Like a slot car, like this, almost perfect. Like, that's eh. because this movie was the first to introduce Tokyo Drifting. <laughs> right, <laughs> that was see? Some pretty bad Tokyo Drifting. More trailblazing. This also, movie has it all. Just, I guess, assume... <laughs> That those guys are just driving around the block all yes! day long. <laughs> Thank you. I was just gonna say that all they do is drive around but the I block. I think, like, did people just do that back then? Like, you know, I'm mean, out with a surfboard on their car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, so they must live on the coast or something, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, Maybe. no, I, I know people that when they first got their license, I guess because they had nowhere else to go and they wanted to flaunt it, they would just yeah. drive around the block. So yeah, I guess I guess it's a thing that was a thing. Fuck, I drove to my grandma's. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he had a Why destination. The fuck not? <laughs> 
So now he's going to chase his car down. And man, this really shows his speed really well. This is why I assumed they were just driving around the block. <laughs> well, it's weird, though, because he took off down the street, but then they cut to him jumping over fences. Yeah, because he yeah, just he went through like over. straight through the backyard. Yeah. Yeah. But he did. Okay. So he got ahead of him, cut him off. They stop, you know, dead in their tracks because, like, they see. They this. actually see him this time. Oh, yeah. Because I thought you, that was kind of weird, too, when he stood in front of it. And I'm like, okay, so they're not going to stop when there's, like, kids in the street. But now he's in the street. That's now because they were, they were, they were paying attention at that point. But before, he's all like, oh, some yeah, some whatever lives there, dude, or whatever. So their attention was distracted. Stereo typical stereo for boy. Oh, yeah. Lingo. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, so, so they, they stop. Sure. And he rips the door off their car, which I don't know why they just didn't take off again. Yeah. They no, no the he didn't flip the door off first. He flipped the car, ripped oh, the door yeah. off. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's right. Uh, Chef, yeah. don't do it. Flip. Punch. Yeah, because he was getting ready to pop the one guy, the driver guy's face in, and yeah. rightfully so. Should have done it. Should have done it. But no, so so Charlie being the good guy he is, he's like, no, Shep, come on, let's let's just go home. And again, you know, police are not involved. Nobody's you know, pressing charges. It's the 90s. It's just like, oh, I'll just flip <laughs> my car over. The no, it's the 90s. People should be pressing charges. This is contradicting itself. No. <laughs> <laughs> so later that night, they're going to reward him for saving the son's life and all the good deeds this guy has done today. And how do you do that? With chocolate cake. Oh, yeah, chocolate cake. No, Bam. thank you. <laughs> chocolate cake <laughs> is the perfect reward for any situation. not. Yes. No. It's chocolate cake, dude. I mean, no. I like uh, chocolate, but not them. Man, I love chocolate, man. You can give me chocolate cake. I'd be fat. <laughs> okay. I am fat. Uh, okay, so yeah, so they he's eating this chocolate cake awkwardly, and I didn't even say something like, what is this? You guys eat this? Yeah. And, and he's he just, just started going to town. Yeah, huh? He doesn't care. He's like, yeah, I guess I'll eat it if you guys eat it. Fine, whatever. And then they take an awkward photo, you know. Yeah, that was weird. Well, what the heck was the photo about? To commemorate this day of life savings. <laughs> it was just weird. I thought the whole scene was just weird, man. Want, it really I, was a weird scene. I, I am so confused. I get why they did it. It's loving and heartfelt. You, you, yeah. you. No, it was weird. You soulless it was awkward. bastards. <laughs> it was like just weird, man. What's your compassion? I don't even know what other word to use. You guys have no compassion, no love, nothing. I know he's just closer to the camera, but his head looks so big in the picture. <laughs> Hulk, his head is <laughs> yeah. huge. I mean, his head's huge, but like, it's, oh man, it's like bigger than their torsos. Must be a K7 force field. Don't worry. I'll break you out of there. Glad I could help. Maybe I should stick to juggling. Alright, so, okay. <laughs> we get um, another walking scene. Not the last one. We get another walking scene, and he's got he's got to go check on a ship, which presumably is where he went probably the first time. And this time, he's being stalked by Charlie. Charlie needs to know. For some reason, I don't know why, but Charlie just has to know where he's going. So <laughs> he he follows him, and on the way, we see this woman. She's getting mugged. Muggy. Yeah, You're getting mugged, kid. Yeah, this guy runs off with this lady's purse, which, by the way, I think this, I don't know where they're living. It looks like a really nice place, but apparently it's really full of some dangerous crimes, man. Well, yeah, where do you think... When there's a really nice place, all the really awful people go there to get the nice things that they can't have. Lady gets mugged. He saves the mime. <laughs> yes. But yeah, so so ladies, okay, ladies getting mugged, and so so Shep, you know, you see the shadows only, but it's a it, it's a it's an impressive save. He he gets the purse back, gives it to the lady, throws the kid in the dumpster, throws the kid in the dumpster. Sometimes you just gotta trash throw the whole thief. Belongs. Yeah, because yeah. sometimes you just gotta throw the whole thief away. Oh yeah, you do. You just well, yeah. you know, gotta get rid of it altogether. After that, he he continues walking. Is this when he comes across the mime? I, I think so. And yeah, he saved the mime. The mime <laughs> is in one of it, the mime is on this walk. But here's what I don't get: Why is the mime practicing and performing in a back alley? Well, I mean, okay. So I'm thinking about it like is this: in a back alley? He is in this scene. Be. He's in a back alley. He's like by dumpsters and shit. He's in a back alley. He's no, shy. Okay, so I've, I've never really <laughs> spent a lot of time yeah. in a big city. But when you watch movies that take place in big cities, a lot of people who live like in the apartments, they don't have a yard and stuff. So when they want to be outside, they have to kind of like be in alleys and stuff, you know? Yeah, uh, So maybe he just wants some fresh air and that's all he's getting, you know, there just, there just happens to be, you know, an alley right there. I guess. He's hanging out. But the mime, he's trapped in a box, as mimes usually are. And force field. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. What is like? Oh, a K, no, it's force a K7 field. force field or something. <laughs> I'll BS. save you. Yeah. And so he's going to bust him out. And, you I'll know, save you, brother. he does. He busts <laughs> him out. He gets him out really oh, well. Yeah. His hand just makes direct contact with his mind's face, and he is just down. Home run. Yeah. Apparently, he's not that strong, but he didn't knock him out. Mime seemed okay, actually. I, I couldn't believe they kept bringing the mime back. Like he was like funny as a one-time gag, but then that dude just kept coming back. Uh, well, you know, you, if, when something really sticks, when a joke hits, when it lands as hard as that does, you bring it back a few times. Yeah, they just drive right into the ground. Oh yeah, <laughs> you oh, do. Yeah. It's like so, they did the Halo. I'm surprised they didn't have a punch of <laughs> that horse. We see Shep's ship, and <laughs> it's a tongue twister. Yeah. He still has. Is this where we find out he still has to wait like 21 days or something? I, I think. Yeah, so. I think yeah. Yeah, he finds out his his recharge has still got 21 days to go. So. Locks his ship back up and he takes off. And I'll tell you what, he Charlie, he does not wait too long. He's like right in there after Shep leaves. He yeah. opens his ship up, he's checking it out, and he discovers he discovers Charlie's uniform? Shep's uniform. Shep's, Shep's oh, uniform. Oh, oh my god, he did it again. Charlie discovered Charlie's uniform. Yeah, no. <laughs> Charlie oh, look, it's mine. <laughs> Why is it in Shep's ship? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. What happened to Shep's ship? All I only see my ship for doing shit like this. <laughs> we are not like uh, wait a minute. That- Maybe Shep and Charlie are the same person the whole time. It's like a fight club situation. Okay, so no. <laughs> That'd be so uncomfortable. <laughs> this is okay, so so Charlie realizes that Shep is like a spaceman. This is his, his ship. He goes inside, finds a compartment okay, with okay. His, ge- his gear in it. Every piece of gear he picks up, he's like immediately identifies and knows exactly what it is. Yeah. This is alien Does he? technology. Yeah. He what? picks up yeah. one thing and he's like <laughs> He just says a name off like this. Is- oh, okay, wait, wait. I, maybe I'm not saying I. I, I maybe they're labeled. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know, uh, the goggles. He has a P touch. He's labeling things. No, so here's the deal. Okay, I, I don't know. He may have said other things, but I do know he tried the weird glove sleeve on first and crushes the lens of his camera by accident. And he's like, "Oh, muscle enhancer, or whatever he called it, or, or <laughs> strength." That, no, strength natural enhancer. male enhancement. <laughs> 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 it was. It really was, you know. Sort of. uh, so, so he crushes it, and I don't know why, but he's like messing with these like X-ray binoculars, and this is where we find he names those too. Oh, like well, he, yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. Oh, he, he, he. I think he's just call. I don't think it's like the official name. No, he, I think he, it is. He calls it what it is. He's just like <laughs> X-ray glasses. He just the way he says it is so confident. It's like he just is this. He's an educated man. He's got. A prestige job, and he he knows he's a prestige job. A prestigious <laughs> job. Prestige Shut up. Job. He's, a, he's, he's, he's a, he is far more educated than I. Okay. I just love how tickled Mike is about that. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a good job. Okay. So okay. You're digging yourself some holes. I, today, know, aren't I you? am. I really am. Today I, I don't know what's up with us today. We're I, just tearing you up well, on dude, this one. I knew today was not going to be good for me. So um, he's using these X-ray binoculars, glasses, whatever you want to call them, and he sees. This lady who was abducted by hobos. She's credited it as hooker. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I, I thought I thought she might have been a, like a what? streetwalker. Too. Yeah, there's there's in the, in the oh, oh, credits. Okay. There's someone that's like lady parentheses hooker. Okay, uh, <laughs> hey, uh, it doesn't. She ain't a porn star this time. Hey, regardless <laughs> of her job, I'm just saying that the that does not give these guys no, the right. It doesn't give them no. the right, but no. You know. Okay, I just thought that was funny. They're they're they're. they're Man, these guys, they don't have money, but they want what they want. I think it's kind of odd to put in a kid's show. Yeah, well, they I don't mean, want money. I was doing, <laughs> the whole time I was watching this, there was a lot of scenes coming up. I'm like, this was a kid's movie? I mean, it I is don't... PG. It is yeah, parental it's, it's guidance. Really not that bad. It, it, no, it really isn't that bad. Uh, but I mean, like, if you're familiar with these <laughs> you situations, like <laughs> if you're familiar with these situations, you know, I just you, smart you should, like, cut that out. And just put it at the end and put a fake rating in. <laughs> Russell yeah. saying, it's really not that bad. Oh, like, yeah. seven out of ten. like a Microsoft Sam to say, like, I give it a ten. <laughs> it's really not that bad. <laughs> That'd be so great. I should totally do that. Um, okay. Um, I, you know, I got to figure this out. Okay. So we cut back to Shep, who's on his way back home. But his attention is, is, is I, I would try, he, he hears lasers, right? You know where I'm going with this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's passing an arcade. Yes. Yeah. So he goes in and he thinks that this kid's in trouble and like going to lose or die or something. I don't right. know. And he takes over. He pushes this kid aside and he is like, he is going hard on this game. He is in it. You can go hard on me. And he does so oh, well. God. Not only does he beat the game, I 
guess. But the machine starts smoking. It essentially just blows up and a little tiny surrender flag comes out of a hat. (laughs) It waves the white flag. Yes. I don't know. Was that built into the game? Is that legit part of the game? Or was that, you know... You know, uh, there's an arcade (laughs) machine that when I beat the game... Like it starts spewing out smoke and a little flag comes out. I'd play that one. That'd a lot. be awesome. Right? But honestly, as far as this, all the scenes in the movie, I thought that one was probably one of the funniest, but still not at all funny. Like it was good for the movie, but still terrible overall. I'm trying was to the think. Arcade like, scene. If movie was shit, this is the best. Movie. Yeah, you know, this is the it, best scene. It's... It was the best turd in the whole pile of shit. The best turd in the punch bowl. I kind yeah. of, um, I'm kind of at a battle with myself because I wanted to like be offended and say that there were funnier scenes, but. I don't nope. know if there are nope. actually. Oh man! Like, I'm trying to be offended, but I can't right now. Like, there might be funnier ones that were unintentionally funny, right? But as far as like as they're trying to land a joke, that one was okay. Oh, but all right. So I think that I, I think after <laughs> exactly. here he runs back into the mine. Which, by the way, I'm just saying, if I seen this guy approaching again after what just happened, I would have took off running. The mimes into that kind of stuff, man. But this time he's trying to climb a ladder. He's no longer in a box trying to climb a ladder. And Shep's going to help again by throwing him up to the balcony, like the first floor balcony of this building, which, by the way, is a really wonky edit. (laughs) That was really weird. That was not done well. They could have done so much better. Really? That part wasn't done well? Yes. That one (laughs) one individual part? The only bad part of the movie. It really (laughs) is. Patrick's defending the rest of the movie. This one wasn't bad. If it weren't for that scene, I would have given it a nine. But... You know, after that scene, yeah, that's eight point five. No, so I'm just, I'm just saying, okay. So, um, I think after that, you know, uh, we we cut back to Charlie. He now has Shep's gear on, and he's gonna try and save this woman. And he's, he's kind of a buffoon. He's all over the place. He does manage to save her, and for payment, she is willing to do anything, anything. anything. Uh, <laughs> this was, in my opinion, me. the funniest scene because. She's like, I'll do anything. And he steps back and he's just <laughs> blinking lights on his crotch. <laughs> yeah. I have that. I actually have that written down. Yeah. Justice is its own. I, I think though. something behind that, you know, hit the button to, to activate had, I, those lights. I had to yeah. rewind it there because I thought, oh, maybe I just thought that was funny because there's blinking lights on his crotch and the rest of the suit was lit up as well. But no, there was no other lights and on And they like the specifically just show his crotch blinking. Yeah. They're like, I'll do anything. Blinky, blinky, blinky crotch. <laughs> He's like, no, this machine is taking care of it for me, actually, right now. Because it's built that, into this future underwear that I'm wearing. That is comedy. See? You love this. You Just admit it. That part was funny. Stop that trying funny. To, to, to be all whatever about this. You know you love it, man. No, you know you love no. it. No. Where's Charlie Wilcox? In a meeting, can't be disturbed. Leave a message or take a seat. I said take a seat. My, what a big one. Oh, funny. That's real funny. Put that down. Shame on you. I'm so happy. Please tell them how happy I am. You can do that, can't you? It's here. (laughs) Wonderful. Uh, Do you like it? It's for a new mini mall. If you don't like it, we'll lose it. All right, off you go now. Time to get ready for the big party. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. See you later. (laughs) Banzai. Save it for your lunch hour, huh, Marge? Okay, so... I'm trying. He man, I'm glossing over this whole next section. And if there's something I'm missing, like this, you guys want to touch on, go for it. I mean, it. I feel like this whole area was like, oh, I guess he dropped something when he rescued her. I yes. didn't see yeah. it. Oh, oh um, I did. I guess that was important. Yes, I took a note of what it was called because I feel like I feel like the name of this is somewhat relevant, even though it probably isn't. And I don't know where I wrote it down. Holy shit. How many pages do you have there? Dude, you just to let people know what you're doing. Movie? Stop yes. looking at my notes. I'm Stop ashamed. Is, I have like 10 lines on this tiny little I have little to notepad. remember the whole movie. Usually I remember the whole movie. I am so far lost in this one. I wrote so fast and so big that it just became a mess. But it was like an... Ah, uh, like an S... Oh, no! The N210. Algorizer? It's what came up yeah. as uh, it's what came up on on the caption. So uh, I watch with caption so I don't miss stuff, you know. Uh, but yeah, watch and with captions because he's a loser and can't hear things. <laughs> That's so true. That's <laughs> no, okay. Uh, I but yeah, but I didn't. So so he 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 missed that because here's the thing, right? I, I know I'm going to gloss over some stuff, and it's fine. Because I feel the one is thing this movie does the most <laughs> is it does like these rapid fire scenes of what are supposed to be jokes. All right. But they really don't come across as anything more than just solid and wholesome entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> you know <what> I mean? like, <laughs> yes, they're, they're of not. course. 
<laughs> They're not I really felt laughable. Like you were questioning what you just said. No, no, that that wasn't a question. <laughs> so no. So here's the thing, right? So I I feel like we 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 somehow somehow we get to the next day, and again we're on a walk where he's going back to a ship to check it out again already. And um, on on the way, okay, there's he sees the mime. This time the mime sees him, which is smart. Which by the way, I guess his mime doesn't sleep. He is miming all day. Every he takes, day. He takes his Ooh, art very yeah, seriously. Hustle. And this is the best scene. This is the funniest scene. This is maybe, my argument. Maybe I just forgot it. This is where the old lady squeezing the melons. Oh, I, shit. I love this scene. I want to squeeze her melons. I love this scene. He gets a melon facial. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> oh, he's all God. like, you know, what are you doing? And she's like, I'm trying to find a ripe one. He's like, ripe are the best? And she's like, yeah, duh. And like so, me, I'm old and ripe, big <laughs> yeah. boy. Squeeze so my melons. She lets him know <laughs> the softer ones are usually the ripest ones. So he squeezes one. And because he's so damn strong, because, you know, he shut freaking Ramsey. Yeah. It explodes. All over. <laughs> and she gets, and I almost feel like her reaction could have been legit when she got hit <laughs> with that stuff. Because she does, she gets a face full of melon. And dude, I love that scene. She's just like, oh my. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I found a good one. And he's that was so sweet. excited. He he is, good yes. one. He walked away. He was so happy. That's the What's best funny thing. is <laughs> he's acting there. It almost seemed like he was really excited to learn how to tell. <laughs> oh, what a like, good melon is. Like, yes. If you, was he acting? I, I, or like, is I, he just I think he was just really excited yeah. to be like, they're like, hey, okay, right here, you're going to go in and you're just going to learn about these melons. And he was so hyped. Yeah. Yes. That was his best part. Like, that was his best acting in the whole movie. <laughs> they, they just filmed Hulk Hogan learning things about real life for the first time. Hey, you know, you never stop learning. So th- I again, can stop learning anytime I want. Don't tell me how to live look my at life. This, though, this, <laughs> <laughs> look at this movie is teaching kids about produce. This movie covers everything. For five seconds. Hey. Gun safety and produce. Yes. <laughs> yes. But so anyway, so so he makes it back to a ship and he he realizes that bounty hunters are onto him. He, and he, he, like, cause I, and I don't know if he knows, notices that first or after he realizes somebody's in a ship messing with his stuff, but he knows it's Charlie. He knows it's Charlie. How? He found a piece of his camera. Is that what it was? Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Did you okay. Not I didn't. Okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't. You know, he probably I actually it. I actually wonder how he put two and two together because I missed that. Yeah, so, yeah I like, watched him pick up the piece. Oh, well, I like, seen oh. him picking up pieces of his gear, and I just thought like that was another piece or something. I thought he's like, who put my shit no, on the could floor? You do not, did you not pay attention? You, no, I you didn't. even said oh, it. He broke the camera. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew he broke the camera, but I figured Charlie, being as smart as he was, took the pieces with him. And now Ramsey can smart. piece it all together now. Now this other scene with taking Except- a picture makes sense. He goes, he goes into Ramsey's apartment, shoots a fucking hole in the wall with his gun, and he's not, he's like none the wiser. He's just like, oh, that's fine. But then he goes in the ship, hmm, somebody broke a camera in here. I know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, he, he does. does. What? Because they just used the camera the other he night. He does. So, so now he's going, and this is another thing that, okay, it seems as if Charlie has to drive quite a distance to get to his work. But apparently it's nothing more than an afternoon stroll for Ramsey. He gets there like no time. But he went from where his ship was. Maybe maybe his ship was already downtown. Mm, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for making this movie better again. So anyway, so okay, somebody's so got to do it. He shows, up, <laughs> he shows up to Charlie's work, and dude, I dude, I, I, I love Margie. This movie deserves, <laughs> or is it the one that it needs right now? <laughs> it's what it deserves. Hey, vote Mike Andrews this year, <laughs> making movies great again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so he shows up at Charlie's office, and, and Charlie's in a meeting, but he needs to talk to Charlie. But this is where Margie, the receptionist man, she is not taking a shit. She is standing her ground. And she's like, okay, this this joke was dumb, but this one actually made me laugh. The take your seat? Yes. Yes. <laughs> she goes, she's going to take a seat. And he walks back over just holding the fucking bench. Okay. <laughs> like, listen okay. here. And she, like, she, she says something like, okay, listen here, smart ass, or something along those lines. I am. Like, I'm so okay, glad. Okay, listen here, smart ass. Like, I, okay. To me, that's the funniest part in this yeah, movie. That was really? <laughs> that was, we have completely different <laughs> senses of humor. No, then because that was in the no, top. Like that is like I'm there sorry. Was that, okay, that was in the top three. Even though there was only three funny scenes in the movie. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. Like, yeah. My favorite things when it comes to humor are dad jokes and bad puns. No, he. I think, man. I don't. Maybe it's because I've to been me, around also, longer for it this also joke. Leads into a great no, scene after. Oh, yes, I, I like. Yes. I, I love when you, you the build up, the joke that this led into was 
worth it because I don't like to take your seat and he comes back holding the bag. No, it was funny. I You're wrong. No, it's funny. I thought that was it's not funny. The boss. The there, there. That's what it was worth. I wish I could be as quick as that guy. It was. He is so quick. It was worth that part of the joke when it continued. That was when he's one like, whole joke. Yeah, when he's so like, it was all funny. You Margie, liked the joke. You can't <laughs> yeah, deny it. Like, like the boss yeah, is like, no, 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 I like the punchline. You guys like the setup. Back off. The whole thing was good. <laughs> it was holistically beautiful. No, your no, punchline. No, no, it was perfect. <laughs> Needed the setup. No, and that it's true. It did. But I like when the boss comes out and he sees like th- the setup was funny too. Yeah, <laughs> he sees Hulk Hogan holding this this bench and he's like, "Save it for after work, Margie, <laughs> or whatever." And dude, that was funny. But to take your seat and he picks up a bench. No, dude, no, and there was even that, more. That to is, there was even more to that. There was some. He had a quick line about a delivery. Yeah, or something. no, that's what oh, I yeah, mean too. Like the boss yeah, is just so sharp. He is, he's sharp because yeah. he, he tries to he tries to make what looks like an awkward situation yeah, normal the, to the, the, the Japanese, Japanese guys are coming people. out. Yeah. And there's like this dude holding a couch, and he's like, "Oh, it's arrived. All right." Yeah, and he's like, "This is for the, the lobby, but if you don't like it, you know, we'll send yeah. it back." And he's like, "But that's the thing. He's a fast talker, and that's why I think this guy got to where he is." Yeah. But I mean, yeah, I'm sorry that everything that that followed. The take your seat initial joke that has been dead for years. It's funny. No. Oh, man, you no. guys. No. The rest of this joke. <laughs> the, re- <laughs> the rest of this joke so was good. funny. I no, I mean No, I, I love that. It's all when one joke. Back, I just started laughing. Oh, that is beautiful. Uh, no. <laughs> I feel like But I think my, my age kills the joke. It's been around longer that. for me. <laughs> the joke has just been around longer for me. I hate the joke. I like dad I puns. You. I hate that joke. I love dad buns, uh, puns. Uh, <laughs> only if the Hulk is it. Is he a dad? You can be He's my daddy. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> so now Charlie comes out of this this office and and Shep's getting rough with him. He's like, "Hey, you know, you were on my ship. Why are you on my ship?" And Margie, freaking superhero, she deserves her own movie. She comes out of nowhere with this big ass pistol, <laughs> and and she's just like, you know. I think like half the scenes she's in in this movie, she's holding a gun at somebody. I think so. Yeah, she's yeah. just a secretary. Like she's not even in. Like <laughs> she just wants a reason to shoot yeah. somebody. So she she's trying to save you know Charlie and Charlie's like, no, it's okay. You know, I know this guy. We're friends. And she's like, oh, let's well, take it outside. Shep steals him from work, and they have to go back to the ship. And he has. I love this scene. Oh, which which scene? They get outside the building, and he's walking over and. Charlie's about to unlock his door and he's like mm-hmm, and just pushes no. him away, rips the oh, door yeah. off and then but, Charlie gets in and he walks around and just opens the door yeah. and he fucking locked <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Yeah, I yeah, saw that. Too. Charlie reaches <laughs> over and pulls his keys but out I, of falling door. I feel like the that wasn't part I just I don't know. I feel like that wasn't part of their initial joke. Probably I feel like not. that was just it, no, an that oversight. Was an, that was accidental. <laughs> but it was it was really funny. Yeah, it, no, it was funny. But I thought this is fucking stupid. But yeah, so uh, they they need to find this weapon, and he tells Charlie like you know pretty much they're in danger. You set up uh, set up this thing where now they're gonna be tracked by these bounty hunters or whatever, and they gotta find this N two ten algorizer or whatever the hell it's called. And so they don't find it in in the scene of where this all took place. See, um, I'm glad you're saying that because Hulk Hogan said that how many times? Oh we yeah. Have to see? And every time, I'm like, the fuck did he just say? Yeah, well, I only, like I said, I only knew because of the caption. Dan Elgar. I have a question right here, though. <laughs> so, so, so they can't find it, and he brings out like this, this like detector tool. He pulls oh. it out of the glove box. Yeah, why was it in the glove box? Why wouldn't it be in the glove box? Why was it in Charlie's glove box? Because he stole it. Did he? He stole it. No, he didn't. How do you know? It, or maybe the Hulk, <laughs> maybe the Hulk put it in the glove box so he didn't I hate hold that we're it calling him the Hulk. while they were driving, Shut. you know? He was Shut. like, he was like, oh, it's real, you know, just, I don't want to hold the same put in the glove box. Yeah, I'm out. oh, maybe, so, I don't know. There's also a part where they drive back to the scene of the uh, mugging, and they're looking for it. Right. And that's where they mention, it's like, oh, we could also just track it with this. Yeah. And that Charlie device. goes, why didn't you mention it in the first place? And Chef just goes, shut up. Yeah. And then they go, <laughs> but that's like that device, though. I feel like we've seen like that device. Was it that who the original stupid, Ghostbusters? Yeah, that and any show that has to do with like ghosts and shit, they have one of those. I'm yeah, like, it did look familiar, but I'm yeah. like that thing. That thing does not do shit. Yeah, but yeah, so they had this thing the whole time. It so has, like a hundred different uses, and it does shit. They, they quickly, they quickly find it because it works well in this movie. Yeah. They quickly find it in the hands of the hobos 
who are using it to rob a bank because we find out it is a freeze gun. For 20 minutes and you get a bad headache afterwards. Yes, which I'm going to argue the frozen time. Okay, so they go on the bank. It, that first cop this. wasn't very good at holding still. Yeah, <laughs> no. I think he was the only person, honestly, because I was, I I was, was I, after, watching after people. After he was kind of bad at it, I was staring at everyone else. Oh, yeah. Move. I dare yeah, you. I was. Yeah. I was like, you, you fucking do Everyone it. else fucking is good at it. Maybe, maybe the, dog, maybe the cop dog. was starting to thaw. He would, technically would have been the first one frozen. Just trying to give yeah, it a reason. Okay. Just okay. trying to give a reason. Okay, so the dog though, the dog you could tell the dog was fake. <laughs> well, come <laughs> it was on, <laughs> it was <laughs> fake or dog. <laughs> it was fake. <laughs> it was trained. That so was a they, well-trained dog. Fuck. They go in there. Shep puts up a fight. He's trying to get the gun back. And, and during all this, of course, Charlie gets frozen. Um, and this is where the bounty hunters make their first appearance. And I'll be honest, with you, I don't know how they get there, but Shep traps them in the bank vault. They run. Yeah, well, they, he, no, he, hold, wait, hold up. He picks up Charlie and he runs. Yes. And uh, they obviously, the, the vault, vault held them long enough to make their escape because they just used their weapon to blast the door open skip this next and they're out. Uh, the do. next part. Okay, here's the thing, right? Driving down the road. There, oh, yeah, okay. That was great. <laughs> really? <laughs> I was going to say, that was like, that. I just saw I, that like... <laughs> I love that. I'm mean, just so <laughs> yeah. like it's so stupid. A that frozen like, Charlie. It, it, it was it was kind of funny when they cut to it and he's just through the. I just like that thing had a sunroof. Was my my only yeah, for that I scene. The, the weird thing is though, I noticed the the sunroof in the car earlier in the movie. Really? So I mean, I don't know why. I just yeah. oh, I, don't know, I was looking at the car. I don't huh? Know. Like, oh, you sunroof. noticed the crappy details? Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know why. So, that, so I wasn't car. like I wasn't like oh, it suddenly has. <laughs> oh, normally yeah. I would have been like oh, so yeah. it suddenly has one. I kind of assumed he had, but no, I saw it. I saw it had a sunroof, but I was kind of hoping he had just punched a hole in the roof. Oh, yeah, that would have been so I cool. Mean, that would have been hilarious. Yeah, but yeah. So Charlie's sticking out all frozen as he's as he's riding down the highway or whatever. And I like how he looks so annoyed every time he bumps into it. Just pushes him back over to the side of the car. Like, Oof. But here's what I don't understand. The, they're supposedly frozen for 20 minutes, but he thaws later that night. It is nighttime, and I, I even had to watch because I thought, well, maybe it's just dark because they're in the building, which doesn't really make sense because the building should have a huge-ass hole. <laughs> should have a huge hole in the top of the building from his crash landing. <laughs> right? <laughs> Mike finally got it. That was... <laughs> I was thinking uh, about, like, I'm sitting here thinking about the timing, like, trying to think of an excuse for it, and that just went right over my head. But yeah, now we, we get the full story. Um, Shep tells him everything about Suter, everything being, like, pretty much in danger now, and he's got to get out of here because now everybody just, everybody has the risk of uh, uh, essentially During being killed. During this whole conversation, also, he's working on his ship the whole yes. time. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And we, we think that he gets it fixed. He's, he's getting ready to take off. And it goes boom. But yeah, and then it just blows up. What is this, a tag team? You're a dead man, Ramsey. No wonder you guys never talk. Now he they, he does. He doesn't really have much of a choice, but he's got to go up against these guys. And somehow, this I think this conversation carries back to Shep's apartment. I think that's where they were arguing, weren't they? Yeah. But yeah. So well, yeah, that's like, where Shep's like, hey, this armor will take two hits. Go distract him. Yeah. <laughs> and then Shep's going to take him out. And then, of course, Charlie, he doesn't want anything to do with it. And Shep's like, hey, look, they're here because of you. You're the one using my equipment that they traced. And, of course, Charlie, you know, passing the bucks, like, no, I mean, they're here because you're here. If Which, you I mean, wouldn't have came here, they wouldn't have came here. Yeah, if you didn't come here, I wouldn't have been messing with your stuff. And then this wouldn't have happened, you know. So, But Charlie's like, you know, when, when Shep's like, I'll like, find. I wouldn't have been a shitty landlord and snooped through your shit <laughs> if you yeah. had, you know, rented my apartment. Yeah, they're, just, they're <laughs> going back and forth. And and so, you know, Shep's like, you know what? He takes a breath. And he's like, you're right. I'll I'll do this myself. Don't worry about it. You know, take care of your family. You know, peace out kind of thing. And that's when Charlie's like, no, no, no. Super melodramatic. Like, I'm just going <laughs> off to die now. <laughs> I know, pretty much. <laughs> and so so Charlie's like, no, it, there, look, there's got to be another way. And he's like, well, not unless you know where I could get 40 pounds of, what is it? Simeon crystals. Simeon crystals. Which I thought for a while they were calling them Sibian crystals. Yeah, I didn't know what that <laughs> was. I was like, oh, this is going to get hot. I didn't know, I didn't know what <laughs> they were But then it didn't happen. And, and, like, and right. apparently these crystals are what his bosses, like accolades, his trophies are, are these, these big ass crystals. And so not only, okay, so, so he needs 40 pounds 
But Charlie knows where he can get 50 pounds, which means each one of these crystals ten weighs pounds. 10, 10 pounds, which, okay, sure. Okay, I can maybe yeah, see that. Yeah. So they, 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 I'm going to get back to this point in a second. Because <laughs> crystals are Because heavy. they, they go back to the office. They go to Charlie's like office building and they're having a, a, a black tie event, which Charlie just keeps an oversized tux for a strong guy tucked away for just <laughs> such an occasion because they're both in a tuxedo. Yeah. And uh, they're right. at this party. You know, Marge is trying to get all up on the Hulk. But Isn't it nighttime? It is nighttime. Couldn't yeah. you assume he went and just picked up a cheap rental on the way there? At nighttime? Well, it was. Sure, why not? How late are tux rentals open? I don't know. For? Maybe it's a big city. You know, really, uh, uh, I was, guess. It, was it daytime when they're still at the apartment? No, they, it was nighttime when they're back at the ship Besides, before this even happened. Dinner events take place at night. A tux shop would, uh, would, 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 would be good business to stay open. Just in case. You know Such an occasion. Yeah, you know know. What? For myself, I'm going to say you sold me. This movie's still great. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, what you're doing, Russell? You're uh, oh bringing up his score. So we, we, we get to this you party. You him down. He's sitting at like a 12 right now. You better bring him down to 12. <laughs> this, is, this is going over the scale. You need to bring him down um, to like a 3. <laughs> So we, we get to this party. Marge Marge is throwing herself at the Hulk again, and and you know, but they got stuff to do. They they pass by her. They ride the elevator up, but the crystals are gone, or they can't find them, or something like that. Yeah, no, they they go to like where he had them displayed in his office, oh, yes, and they're yes, just yes. not there. Yes, which I think is so stupid. When you know Hogan's like, well, I give up then, whatever, screw it. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Charlie's like, well, they must be in the building somewhere. Yes. Why? Oh, yeah, what evidence you, yeah. must they be in the building? They're not where they were, so they must be somewhere it's else like, in hey, the building. It's been like, what, like two plus days since he originally saw them? Like, the, his boss couldn't have taken his awards home? Yeah, yeah. They, must, they must be in the building. Hey, since they Charlie has worked there, they have been in that damn building. <laughs> I mean, hey, that is actually a kind of fair point. So they find the crystals, and they're on a level uh, or, or a floor that's that's undeveloped yet. It's, you know, it's still roughly being built. And so, I guess the way I took that was that's that's the floor the Japanese company is buying. Maybe so I, I guess I, I, they they were getting whole, I, I guess they were, I thought they weren't getting a whole building. They were just getting that floor. By the way, they were also this building is I weird as shit. I don't, yeah. yeah, it really is because I think there's apartments and stuff in it too. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, I, I don't know when he talks about the blueprints. I swear he's talking about like archways and stuff. I thought they're having a whole building built. Probably I um, do. But yeah, so he's up there talking to the, the Japanese people still about like their stuff, and he's got his awards there, and he's talking it all up, and he. Uh, I forgot, but apparently he's expecting Charlie, and Charlie shows up, and his boss is like, oh, about those plans, and blah, blah, blah. And They're in my car. Oh, yeah. So they, they all leave so Shep can get these crystals. So somehow, and I don't, I can't remember, but somehow Charlie actually comes back. He just kind of sends them off wherever. Well, no, no, no. no he, he's went, like, it's in my car, and they're like, oh, all right. And he's like, I'll go get it from my car. And they're like, we'll meet you in my office, basically. Oh, more or less. Okay. I, I don't know if they actually say that, but it's that makes more sense. or less implied. So they're, they're going to they're gonna steal these crystals. And here's why I argue that they are not 10 pounds a piece, right? Because they're putting it in a plastic bag. If you had 50 pounds of pointy-ass crystals <laughs> in a Thin little plastic dude, bag. This thing is going to rip dude, open. That was a hefty. There is... I put some trash bags through their faces. Come on. <laughs> okay, then you know... That they could handle pounds. 50 pounds. No! no. It, it I use some good depends, trash bags, man. trust you me. You know what? It depends. I dare you next time. If you get a bag of cat litter that's only 20 pounds, because I change cat litter often. I can't put more than 20 pounds of cat litter in a damn bag. And you I get some high cheap, quality bags. His veins are coming out in his oh my neck God. right now. He is I'm so getting angry. high quality <laughs> veins. I am going to go. <laughs> Wait, what would you say? <laughs> well, what? <laughs> I said I'm buying high quality veins. <laughs> Whoa. That's weird. <laughs> Stop Mine just grow naturally in my body. So, <laughs> we're not going to make running it out, out of here time. alive. We're running out of time. Okay, so <laughs> Margie comes out of nowhere to stop them from stealing the crystals. Okay? With a gun. With a gun, because she is hell-bent on shooting Where was somebody. She? Where was she? Where'd she have it? I, well, first of all, Vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where she came from. We're not going to make it. And out then <laughs> when, the doors, when the doors exploded... And, and the bounty hunters come in. Where the hell did she disappear to? We never seen her again till the very end. That bitch ninja vanished. Yeah. <laughs> but so it's weird. Poof, I, bitch. I thought everybody took off running. But apparently Shep is still there because he's going to take these guys on. They're bending some rebar to like show their strength. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. And he he swings the bun. rebar at him. And the guy takes it. Oh, and he I, bends it. Hands it to the other bounty hunter. He unbends it. It's and then, great. and then Shep and bends it into a rabbit to show that ruined he is the alpha. Yeah, man. which they don't show that on camera. They show their bending on camera, oh, yeah. but his is just below. His hands right down here. That's because and he's just kind of grunting and moving around. Get, yeah, but in order to get those curves for the ears, he needed something to bend it around. Dude, oh, 
Oh, yeah. I That's see. why you don't see it. It's PG, dude. Come on. So the uh, here's where we went from PG dang. to PG. He had to <laughs> bend it around his analyzer or whatever. <laughs> his analyzer. Oh god. The first bounty hunter isn't even really a threat right now because he just falls through the floor. Their construction yeah, is very shabby. Is cheap construction. Weird. They even yeah, say yeah, that. yeah. Yeah. Talk about cheap construction. Yeah, brother. another great one. Li- oh, <laughs> you should have ended every line with brother. They should. I don't know they how should've. we didn't say brother like one time. I know. I think he only made like one, maybe two wrestling references in this whole movie. Yeah. And should been and more. The weird thing is, is like I didn't even know he knew any other words besides brother. Yeah. Brother. <laughs> his whole script. Yeah, brothers. He's an alien. That's like his whole like like speech. Like brother, 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 brother. Yeah, it's like some kind of weird Morse code or <laughs> yeah. something. Brother. Uh, but yeah, so the guy goes through the brother. floor. They go through a wall of office supplies and somehow this guy gets like a mouthful of like brass fasteners. Spits yeah. them against like the wall missing Ramsey. And this, I'm so confused because there's a point in this fight where this bounty hunter is just, you don't see him anymore. And then he he is just like the other one pulls him through the floor. Yeah. What the well, hell happened the to this guy? One, I can't remember. The other guy because oh. he would stand up and stab, him, and then he took paper clips and yes! poked the boots, and also he just yes! which was super building. like wow. He hacked dumb. his rocket boots and he sent him yeah. up. Hacked and he poked him with like, paper yeah. clips. He's going I, through I ceiling after this ceiling. Fight scene. Not only was it cheesy, but yeah, it was. I was bad. expecting Hulk Hogan is a wrestler. He yeah. fights wrestling, for wrestling a living. Yes. I was expecting like, you know, I mean, wrestling is cheesy, but I was expecting like some like theatrical over the top wrestling moves and all these like different like maneuvers. I don't know all the names of like, wrestling, oh, yeah. Yeah. but like some he didn't really do much of anything. <laughs> the one guy just went up through the ceiling and then yeah. he just kind of fell through the floor. Right. And yeah, that was so, basically the fight. So after the guy goes to the ceiling and, and the other body hunter pulls him down, they're fighting and he, they end up in the elevator shaft somehow. And let me tell yeah. you what, the elevator that is coming down is the fastest elevator I think I've ever seen. Wasn't it? Uh, the cable, cut? I thought the cables were cut. Yeah, I thought it was broken. It was falling. Like when gravity. did the cable get cut? I don't know. Fuck if I know. I just. I guess there I, was, was nothing. Like, so, no. Me and Mike both yeah. are, both assumed you guys somewhere. are going back to the beginning scene. <laughs> Where? No cables were cut here. Um, this well. is the 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 elevator in its natural habitat. <laughs> Uh, I just thought it was falling. No, I, I, I thought it was falling too. I don't well, know why. all right, whatever. It seems but to be grazing the shaft thing... that it is attached to. <laughs> okay, there's, there's no. First of all, there's it's no way it was falling because here's what happens, right? <laughs> okay. There's no way it's falling <laughs> because it's being ridden down by the other bounty hunter. So, because ele- if the elevator was falling, it would have like exploded. The elevator comes down, squishes the other guy. The doors open, and there's the other bounty hunter. If this thing fell and was broken, the doors aren't going to open. It was broken, but. Surprisingly, yeah, yeah, you know, you yeah. wouldn't have guessed it, but it's the doors just, work. It's just a very fast elevator, okay? So the other bounty hunter's in there. That's he takes, a scary ass elevator. He takes his toilet from off his head that he got from flying up through the, the oh, yeah, ceiling. Oh, he gave that lady a headbutt enema, like. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot so about that. He, he takes off, and this is the line I have quoted all my life is when he says, You're a dead man, Ramsey. I have said in that. In a kid's quote. voice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he says it in a kid. Everyone, anybody want to demonstrate? <laughs> You're a dead man, Ramsey. <laughs> wow. Is that good? That was pretty good. Thanks. That was pretty good. I, that was practicing on the way over. I was like, I swear man. to God, the Undertaker don't sound like that. I'd be <laughs> yeah. so mad. So they, um, they, they go through this. They, they fight again. And they're like grappling each other. And they end up on this metal Those cart with wheels. rocket boots are a hindrance to them. They really are. I don't even know why they have these things. <laughs> but then they just like fly around a pole and for they are, seconds. And they're headed dangerously. Uh, like a fun toward, ride though, not going to lie. <laughs> toward a matte painting of a hallway. They could have easily ran into that thing. But Hulk, he grabs this pole. They are spinning round and round. And luckily enough, Hulk's stunt double rolls to safety. <laughs> and the other guy... Looney Tunally hits the cement wall and then falls through. And I guess that's it. That's the end of he that did. guy. did. Yeah. How does that kill him? But everything else this guy Looney has endured has not killed him. Tunally. What? Looney Tunally. Looney Tunally. Yeah. He got Looney okay. Tunally. <laughs> <laughs> well, have a nice flight. Hey, Charlie. Too good to say goodbye. Goodbye, Charlie. Seven. See you around. See you around, Charlie. They 
<laughs> they go back to the ship, and, and Shep oh, wants to get out of here. Kick our ass. Oh, shit. He wants to get out of here before anybody else's lives, you know, are in danger or, or have to go through this. And he, he asks, you know, Charlie, go back, make sure I didn't forget anything, which he does. And when he goes back, what does he find? He the, forgot his villain. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. yes. Yeah, I forgot the villain. Waiting back at Charlie's place, holding his family hostage, is Suter. Who's coming to take your to daughter. To be fair, I also forgot by this point that he was in the movie. Because I was surprised he was there too. I was like, oh shit, that guy's in the movie too. Right? <laughs> I thought it was just the other two guys and that was it. was a it. twist ending. You it, thought you it think was he's for dead. Me. I think because I just had no real... You just thought the, the first part was, was mm. amping it up like he's a hero. You know, but really, he's not. He's a screw up. Yeah. So, so now his family's held hostage and, and he, against Charlie's, you know, better judgment. I, well, not better judgment. He's trying to keep his family safe, but he takes him back to Shep. Shep, you know, uh, Shep originally, he, he, he dives in a ship, but he realizes he can't stay there. He doesn't want Charlie's family to get hurt. You know, he, he's, there's a bond now between them. So he sets his ship to self destruct at X amount of time. I don't really remember. And he comes, he comes out of the ship. He's like, look, it's me you want. Like three and a half minutes. Yeah. It was not very long. Um, but he's like, look, but it's, he had a it's, lot it's, happen in three and a half. Minutes. Well, yeah, yeah, because they had time to drive off. It happened in anime time. <laughs> so he t- he tells him, look, it's me you want. Let these guys go. And he's like, I don't care about these guys anyway. He's like, you know, they're they're nothing to me. So they they drive off, and now it's him and Shep, and um, Charlie. Charlie becomes a man right here. So he drops his family off at like this like little convenience store, and he drives back. And not does he not does he only oh, not this only is, this is, this is, <laughs> not he does I'm only trying, do the I'm only trying, buzz. I'm trying so hard to get this out decently fast without seeming like I'm trying to. So, <laughs> so not only does he drive back, but he drives Brian. into the building, and and he almost drives into Suter, but he doesn't. He gets out of the car. And what does he do? He puts on the muscle enhancement oh, no. glove. <laughs> no. Wait, hold up. This was uncomfortable. I'm just like, the fuck? Because he went up, he got grabbed by the guy, and he had him almost like in a Vulcan death grip or some shit. I don't know. But he's holding him there. But during that, Suter's staring at him. But yeah, he's just putting on this glove oh, like yeah. nonchalantly. It's like he could have just kicked him in the ass. Like, you ain't putting that bitch on. But no, let's him do it anyway. Well, of course, it's written in the script. <laughs> so, <laughs> doesn't know what that glove does. Hey, we might not. You know, it's custom made. But Charlie puts on the muscle enhancement glove and, and, him in and the you ads. know, this just shows so much eggs. about Charlie's <laughs> life. Yet. He has got life and suitor by the balls now. He's becoming a man. Okay. And you see how, like, the look of pleasure on Charlie's <laughs> yes. face while he's holding that man's ball. Yeah, he's excited because, <laughs> yeah. because. As, as Mike would say, he's incredibly turned on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I mean, like, Charlie, he's realizing, like, he can do this. He can, he can save his friend, you know, and he's going to be the hero. But man, Suter, the pain is too much. And it turns him into, I guess, like, his true form, like, the, this outer rubbery. Alien, it's like fish alien. Thing. The, the, this, I, I, I swear, I, this is like a reused <laughs> costume from like an older horror movie. Oh, maybe it was a swamp thing. I go through a similar <laughs> transformation <laughs> when someone touches my balls. But his his human his human fleshy skin is dead, <laughs> and he becomes like this this like kind of weird lizard fish man thing. Yeah, he's straight up a fish man. It's yeah, thing. and then then while he's kind of his attention is to Charlie still because Charlie like just squeezes his balls. <laughs> but yeah, Charlie just got done squeezing his balls. So like it's fish he, eggs, they, they got are, dejuiced. <laughs> they are kind of going at each other. <laughs> <laughs> and so Shep sees the opportunity. Described. Shep sees the balls. opportunity, yeah, so man. They're, so they're going at each other, and then he, Shep's like, "I gotta get in on and this." So, <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. He takes the cables he ripped out earlier <laughs> and he electrocutes them. With, and, and as as he's Starts electrocuting his nipples. Oh yeah, he's shaking yeah. with pleasure. So oh, no. they they <laughs> jump to safety again as this blows up and Suter's dead. And this is it, man. This is like a so this like, is it. He survived like a capital ship blowing up. Yes, but a garage. But there was a pod. Up. There was an extra yeah. He could have got out of a pod. There's no pods in this building. This is Earth. We don't have yeah, they those. Got crushed. And there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the only ship in there is inoperable. <laughs> so he died for sure this time, or maybe maybe it's set up. For Suburban Commando 2, all right? You don't know. There could be another twist. But here's the thing, right? Like, Charlie, he goes back. He tells his boss off. He takes life by the balls, literally. And, and, and the egg sack. Hogan, he flies back off to space with Margie, who's still into him. And, okay, and- so, like, uh, that was really weird to me. It's like, they've seen each other, like, twice, and she's committing to going into outer space. Dude, have you seen Hulk Hogan? Yes. Love it yeah, first sight. It. Have you seen that? <laughs> Love it first sight. 
But yeah, so man, this this movie has everything. It comes to a perfect ending. Everybody gets their up and comments. This movie has something for the whole family. Charlie gets a gun. Oh, disappointment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, it's time for final thoughts and ratings, which is what I've been waiting for this whole week. And we're going to start off with Isaiah. Oh, shit. Thank God it's not me. <laughs> I was not ready for that. Well, I, I honestly, I, I did enjoy it. It it was a good movie. It wasn't the greatest movie I've seen, but it was all right. I enjoyed it. I had a couple laughs. My favorite joke. It may not be your favorite joke, but it was my favorite <laughs> joke. I love dad puns. Uh, um, but honestly, though, I think overall, give it like a five. All right, a that five from my I very think I, generous. That, no, <laughs> it's a hey, fair I, rating. I feel like it's average compared. It's, I also okay. Have to point I feel out. like it's I feel better like Russell than Uga has to go Come last. On. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'll go last. Yes. So yeah, don't better than me. Ooga Booga. Well, by a lot. so let's just <laughs> let's just pass Ooga. this. To Mike, because I think you guys know where I'm headed with this. Mike, what do you got? All right. So, I hated it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that hurt. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, okay. Uh, just for the take a seat. <laughs> <laughs> take a seat alone. He's <laughs> getting a five. Someone, someone, All right. someone appreciates that joke with me. All right. I guess, Pat, <laughs> let's hear yours. All right. So, Isaiah gives it a five. You give it a five. I love this movie. It's part of my childhood. It is not a great movie. And I think, I'm, I'm, I'm curious because I think you guys are thinking I'm going to give it more than what I am. But this movie has its flaws. It's not really all that great. But it's a fun watch. It is a fun watch. Okay? And I think for a 90s. It's not worth more than a five, like, like, though. Seriously, like for, a silly, <laughs> for a silly 90s movie. Okay, and maybe this is just because uh, of my nostalgia, but I think it kind of holds up. And also because of my nostalgia, I think kind of ups it a little bit. I'm giving this movie a six and a half. I love this movie. Oh, Russell, oh, Russell. let's hear <laughs> what you have to you say. You hear oh Russell's my. anguish because of your score. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. So I'm trying to think of what other movies you would have, you gave like around a six because, hold on. Let's, around like, a oh, I gave Velocipastor an eight. Huh. Okay, so this is just two points. No, a well, point and a half. Yeah, this is better than Just a point and a half. That's unfair. Under. That's unfair. A, 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 t- a, rating, a rating of one to <laughs> just ten. Just a point and a half. A rating of one to ten each notch <laughs> is quite the jump. He's uh, Yeah, it is. So it is. So and you need a lot more so quite the jumps when, between Yeah, them. but I'm just saying. Because <laughs> no, Velocity no. Pastor was a good movie. It was a good this movie. This is a not good nah, movie. Nah, man, this is entertaining. So there's got to be more than a point and a half. Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Before we get to your rating, I do want to say that if you, if you... If you incorporate an extra point for nostalgia, if if you, if you want to look at it that way, this movie is a five and a half. I give it half a point more than the other guys, but I'm giving it six point five because it holds a special place in my heart. Now I'm what justifying you grandeur. <laughs> I'm taking delusions. a look so far at the worst movie Ooga Booga and the best movie, in my opinion, I think, which was Velocipastor, and I got to put it somewhere in between those two because it was better than Ooga Booga, worse than Velocipastor, <laughs> so. and. Oh, it's so bad though. I'll give it a three point five. That's pretty yeah, fair. That, you know That's what? better than I expected. I'm, I I can accept that. I can accept that from you. So we have five from Isaiah, five from Mike, a six point five from me, and a three point five from Russell. With an overall score of five. Hey, but that's great. That's average in that's my book. That's good. That is yeah. good for this movie. So this movie's yeah, like uh, yeah, I guess average a five fine. to me. Guys, that is going to do it for this week's episode. Thank you so much for listening. But you know what? You can do more than just listen to the conversation. You can be part of the conversation. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at Rewind Guys Pod. That's R-E-W-G-U-Y-S-P-O-D. Or email us what you think at R-E-W-G-U-Y-S-P-O-D at gmail.com. And we hope you join us next week. Like kind of a faux intro thing just where I introduce you guys so I can check... Table's not level here. Welcome to the Rewind Guys podcast. Today we're going to be talking about some Hulk Hogan stuff. Thanks. My name is Patrick Andrews and I'm signing off. Handing over to these lovely young men. (laughs) (laughs) He is upset about this movie.